Greetings, Python coders. This is and remains Alan D. Moore, the author of Mastering GUI Programming with Python, a book that plows deep furrows in the rich soil of PyCute 5 for the seeds of your creativity. Available from Amazon or directly from Pact Publications. I will have links in the description. All right, so in our last video, we created this template. In this video, we're just going to talk about how to use it with um, Cute Designer. So what I've done here is I've got a GUI that I've made in Designer. Let's open it up. Loginbox.ui. And it's just a very simple login box. Username, password, checkbox, couple of buttons. Notice that I have named my inputs, username input, down here is password input, this is legalese checkbox, cancel button, login button, okay? And my form itself, I'm going to rename that to login form. All right, let's save that. We'll exit Cute Designer. And now if you've watched my previous video on how to use Cute Designer. Um, this may be old hat, but if not, let's go over this real quickly. You're going to run PyUIC5 on that UI file and give it an output of, we'll give it loginbox.py. Okay, that generates a Python file, which we will look at. loginbox.py, as you see here we have a class called UI underscore login form. That class is going to be a builder class, okay? This is not the GUI in this class. This is a class that knows how to build the GUI on another widget. All right, so we're going to, we're going to close out of this because we do not edit this file. That file remains unedited. We're going back in our template. And what we're going to do here is we're going to import that class. UI underscore login form. Okay, once we've got that imported, we're going to go down here in our main window. Now, when I created that UI interface in Qt Designer, it asked me, what do you want to base this uh, form on? And I chose widget, okay? The other options could have been main window, dialog, something like that. It's important to know what you chose because that's what this class has to be based on, okay? Because I chose widget, our main window class here has to be based on Q widget. Had I chosen main window, this would have to be based on main window. Okay, because your builder class only knows how to build on one foundation. And in this case, this builder class knows how to build on a queue widget. So inside of our main window, we're going to create an object called self.ui, and it will be an instance of this UI login form. Once we've created our builder, we're going to tell our builder to build. So that's using the setup UI and we pass it an instance of self. We pass it self because we're telling it, hey, build your form on this object, this widget, okay, which is our Q widget, our main window class. I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back to the terminal and we're going to run, oops, let me make sure, okay, this was my template. I'm actually going to save this as myapp.py. Okay, not template. I'm going to overwrite it. Okay, so this is myapp.py. We're going to go back to the terminal. We're going to run myapp.py. Let's see what it looks like. And we have our login form. There you go. Username, password, check the box. You can click our buttons. Now, nothing happens yet. And that's okay, we have not en enabled any functionality yet. We'll get to that in a future video. For this video, I just want to talk about how we actually get the interface built on our, 
on our template. That's one way to do it. This is a perfectly good way to do this. This is the way I would recommend doing it if you are working with Cute Designer. However, there is another way to do this without bothering with PyUIC5. So PyUIC5 is written in Python and is based on a library that comes with PyQt. You can do what PyUIC does in your program, okay? And actually directly use your UI files. Let's show how to do that. So we're gonna eliminate this and we're gonna import a library. Uh, let's see, let's just do this from PyQt5 import UIC. UIC is what turns a UI file into Python. Okay, now if you look up how to do this process in the C++ documentation, it's going to be very different and you're going to get confused. Okay, so if you're looking up documentation on this, make sure you're looking at the PyQt5 documentation. Okay, and it may even be different for PySide. So if you're looking at PySide or Qt for Python, that's going to be different from PyQt. Just, just be clear on that. Okay, once we have UIC, we're going to call a function called UIC, uh, and it's called load UI type. Not load UI, but load UI type. And we're going to give it our file name, loginbox.ui. Okay, this method will return two classes for us. All right, it returns a tuple of two classes. The first class it returns is going to be our form class. So we'll get UI login form equals this. But it also returns the class that is the base class, okay? So in this case, QWidget. This is handy because if we didn't know that our login box.ui was based on QWidget, we could just get that base class and actually pass it here as this the basis for this class, okay? So now let's go back to the terminal. Once again, let's run myapp.py and we see works just as before, okay? So just to review, there are two ways you can do this, okay? We can either import our form from the compiled Python. Or we can directly load our login box using uh, uic.loadui type. Once you do that, either way you go, it doesn't really matter. Inside of your main window class, you are going to create an instance of your builder class, that UI underscore class. Then you're going to call setup UI to build the GUI on your class. That's all we're going to do for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually build the whole UI without Qt Designer, just using code. All right, and then after that, we will get on to actually creating functionality within this GUI. Thank you for watching. Once again, check out my book. All this stuff is in there and so much more. Um, I'll have links down in the description. Please do subscribe. I'll have lots more content coming. And uh, God bless you all. Have a great day.